Okie dokie. I'll try out my... This, right, I'm trying out my tripod thing. See? If it helps with the quality of video. Since I've been noticing it's pretty crappy. Okay. There we go. There's a couple things about this video I'd like to put down. Um, uh, first of all, um, this right here. This is a soldier I've been painting. It's from this kit right here. I've seen a lot of videos of this kit. Pretty good. I mean, I guess comes with um, painting instruct or painting chart. Didn't use that at all. And I guess a painting like this is more helpful in my opinion. But anyway, he came out very good in my opinion for uh, like my first. Well, it's not my first one, but one of my first ones. This is my first American soldier. I've only done German soldiers, which in my opinion are extremely easier. The only thing I didn't get to do on this that I wanted to do would be to add some more detail to the face, but it just didn't look very good. And then, I put a good bit of detail into this. Like, this is tiny. I think this is one thirty-fifth scale. Tried to put little holes for shoelaces right there, and put different colors and whatnot. Lots. I put. I couldn't even tell you exactly what I did, but I did a lot <laughs> to get the effects I got. And on his helmet, I I forgot what that means. Is it two lines in the helmet? I think. Maybe somebody will know, but I've seen it a lot of times. Maybe it means lieutenant or something like that. I forgot, but I put it on the helmet. I think it adds a good bit to it. And with the camera, you can really see, though. Really see everything. Even way better than my eye can see, but... There that is. Okay, getting that out of the way. Here's the vase. It's going to be a small diorama. Uh, there's the base. It's supposed to depict kind of a, oops, a little a hill. And this is how he'll be standing on it. fit in like that so and that's what that's supposed to do and I'll, I'll paint my fence the uh, the bob wire I'll paint that silver or something like that but whoops okay And uh, one more angle, maybe. From this angle. You just move it like that. I don't know. I just thought it was the most comfortable comfortable position for him and this is literally just a, a little piece of styrofoam painted I kept it like this so you could see all, all, what the undercoat looked like that just gives you the rep representation of the hill moving on I'll tell you what I used to do that Okay, number one, probably the biggest thing, would be a research picture. Now, I had, this is just my German research picture, 
you can see all that that's just me testing out the color I, I just like this uniform so I printed it out and uh, I had an American one I don't know where it is right now but that's what I use I just print this off the internet I just looked up official uniforms until I found the one I wanted the American one was a little different um, I kind of used this picture a little more basically lighter and dark light on the the shirt lighter colored and then the trousers a darker color okay and um, the paint brushes I used uh, it doesn't really matter the brand to me but this is what they looked like this is um, a Windsor Newton I think it's a series 3 Cotton. it just came with a watercolor set I love this brush probably my, one of my favorite brushes I have these ones I mean this is just for fine fine detail you can even see that I use that one and for blending mostly and putting basic color down I use this one for, for modeling I don't really think you need anything too big I was given this brush actually both these two brushes I was given paints um, this is just different brands okay um, this brand right here I really like Daler Rowney Rowney um, very good brand. Um, it's to see, it's very high quality and very opaque. It has a lot of pigment. Really good one, in my opinion. It, now, I will have to warn you when all these acrylics right here that I have, if you are painting a model, I have this acrylic spray. It makes things waterproof, and that'll, um, the paint won't stick unless that's on there, so. Okay, seven minutes, oh my god. This video's long. Liquitex, also a very good brand. Very expensive. You're gonna end up paying about six to nine dollars per tube for a large tube. This is kind of similar, but cheaper, even though I think it's almost as good. It's about six dollars, that one, five or six dollars. This one, very cheap brand. It's actually pretty good quality. As you see though, it looks more plasticky, doesn't it? Not? There's less pigment, more plastic. And that's Amsterdam. Very cheap, but pretty good. It's like three to four dollars. Not that's pretty expensive, but still. Then the cheapest I think there is around me is Delta. Pretty good brand. Do all types of stuff with this stuff. And there you go, right there. Those are the four brands I use. They're all acrylic. And I think that'll wrap it up. And this is the, um, the set. So, thank you very much for watching. And, um, I have one question about dioramas. Um, how much are they worth? Like, say something like this. How much would that be worth? I don't know. I don't know how much this kit was. But I just wonder if there's any market for them. Because I'd like to eventually sell them. Thank you for watching.